Hi guys, this is the part 27 online restaurants and drinks. So, in this video, we are going to implement this search filter. So, let's take the demo. I am writing here the black tea. Okay, I am right here the black tea. So, now the black tea is I want to get the cold drinks and the pizza. So, now see here this is the cold drink, this is the pizza. I want to get the product which is for pickup, means food for pickup. So now click. So now see all the tea is get. Means the tea is not for delivery, it's only for pickup. And uh, I want to get the tea, only the teas. So the tea is get. So we are going to implement this search filter in this video. So let's get started and implement the search filter. So now open your browser and go to the Cordelia Soft and go to this online restaurant website part 27 search filters so go to the project then go to the online restaurant website and then go to this part 27 this one and now click here so now see here all the code of part 27 will be uploaded here step by step first we need to create here the filter by category then next is the filter order and add order type and then we create the stock menu model mb which is used for pass to the uh, all item view and get data uh, all category all types which is selected inside in the filter for filter okay so now open your projects and uh, here we are going to uh, make some changes inside in the all items and also create here some models means mv model mv so i'm going to block and uh, first i'm going to create the filter category mv use for filter uh, our shop by category so i'm going to here and uh, now create inside in the model this one so now go to the class i'm going to add and now add and then uh, simply copy this properties the one is the id of the category the second is the title of the category and this one is the category status the category status mention the selection inside in the filter if the status is true means the category is selected for the filter if not means it's false uh, the next is the filter order type so right click this is the order type means by delivery by pickup so now paste and now add and also copy the properties here are also the three properties which is the order type id and this is the order type title and this is the order type status which is the show the selections means it's true means it's selected if false it's not selected so this is filter order types the order type is the items by delivery or by pickup for the shops and so on so now copy and paste it so these are the three properties and now the next is the stock mv this stock mv is uh, going for filtering so now i'm going to create this stock mv stock menu mv so now go to and copy the all code then we will discuss this all the code step by step so i'm going to copy this from the second braces to second so this second last okay so now paste inside here replace so now that's it so now next we will add some name spaces here so these are the name spaces so now i'm going to add the name spaces so now save so that's it and this uh, uh, stock menu mv class uh, here are three constructor first for the empty constructor second for just for searching searching key and this one which we used in this uh, video the search key list category and list order type here pass the selected category here pass the selected order types 
and then these all will be assigned to this category list which is inside it and this class has a properties so assign this and then this get all items method which is used for filtering the item and getting from the database on based on these selection okay so here is the simple uh, conditions one the first one is f the search key is empty here is no selection there is no selection of order types means show all the types of uh, or items means products it may be a pizza it may be cold drinks it may be by delivery by pickup and so on so this one is the second one is if the search key is empty but user want to filter our shop by category or by order types so this one is for that and so first here it's get the key by category and then second by order types okay so that's it the next is check the category and check the here is f the search key also then the category and then the order types means here f the search key have but uh, it's maybe a category or maybe order types so here is the options so this is the conditions and then the this one is which is the last one here is the f search keys are not null but here is the or conditions okay and okay here is the f it is zero or category maybe it's zero okay and then the search key is uh, not empty so this uh, statement will be executed here is getting the category list from the database and this is the order types from the database which is show inside in the our shop then the user means the selection list of uh, category will be show on the view so this is the category list for that and this is the order type for the view to show the order types so that's it so this is the stock menu md okay and here is the all item will be saved so here we make some changes inside in the, the all items okay so now go to the block and here is some little changes and that is the uh, when we create the post method and this is the get method inside the get method just we need the list because all these funks all these filtering all these uh, getting items from the stock we uh, will already implement inside in the stock mb means this code move to the stock menu mb so now simply create the uh, uh, instance of the stock menu mv and pass to the view so in the second is for post which is used for filtering means getting the data from them uh, all items view and uh, and return the response means return the filter response the search key the category list and the order list so this is the post method of the all items view so now once these all is done these steps then go to simply to the view and go to this view uh, this uh, post inside in the block and uh, go to here this search filter okay this class uh, left side so here first we need a here now see this is the here we have the okay okay that's it so i'm going to copy the code from the blog okay and then we will discuss this code step by step so i'm going to copy this here we have also just little changes but for saving time i'm going to copy this code and uh, here is this is the left side okay so now see we now replace this code okay so i'm going to select this code so now now see the code is selected so simply i'm going to paste the code so in this code we have little bit changes one is for this okay and uh, this is uh, uh, here for the checkbox we use the html helper class okay and this is the hidden for the checkbox and that is the for showing to the user and the list and the filter list and this is also the category the same procedure for the order type list and for our category list and the one thing which is we used this is the html begin form to use for the submit okay and this is the submit form which is used for submission these all the uh, 
the checkboxes selection through the this HTTP POST method. So now that's it. So I'm going to run. So now the application is run. Now see here we are getting some error. Okay. Here we need the going to right click here and go to the view and we need a, uh, here the model also. So the model is the stock minio mb. So that's it. Okay. So now I'm going to save the changes and then again refresh the view. Okay, again the issue does not contain the definition of search key. Okay, we have also the search key inside in this MB. But now stop and then again run the application. Okay, here is the I am numberable. So here we don't need this I numberable. Okay, so I am going to. I'm going to stop this okay and now simply remove this and this is okay so that's it and then again run the application so here we need uh, to add the all item inside in the and this for each so we need here the model dot all items okay so now so the changes and then run the application because inside and in this all items we add and this the here is a stock menu inside in this stock menu all items and all items is the is the stock items so here if we want to show all the items then we will call inside in view this all items so this is the changes which is we done here and this all item action means all the code of getting the items move to this stock menu mv so that's code is move inside in this stock item and that the, the method is get all items and this methods make a filter method means use for the filtering so now that's done so now good uh, application so that's done so now see here i am going to select the cold rings so now click on the search so now see here all the cold rings is get from the database I'm going to get just pizza. So now see the pizza is getting from the database. I'm going to select the pizza and drinks. So now see here all the drinks and pizza is get from the database. So that's it. And I'm going to select the delivery products only. So now okay, I'm going to select the cold drinks and delivery means get that products inside in the cold drinks which is ready for the delivery, which is used for which is make for delivery so now see here all the cold drinks is get and this is the pickup so the in a pickup you will not okay also this is marked for delivery and for pickup okay so, okay now see the t is get so this is the uh, filtering okay i'm going to get the black tea okay and now remove this tea so now see the black tea is get and our shop so this is the filtering inside and the our shop so that is complete so if you like the video please subscribe to cooking your soft youtube channel